This is Jay from the Cryptoric channel. I'm just here to give you a market update on what's happening right now. So, market right now is getting a little bit of pressure because of uh, recent FUD news, but we all know that you know the future economy involves around cryptocurrency, blockchain, artificial intelligence, similar to, you know what, here we go. I should pull this up every single time. So here we go. I'm going to pull this out every single time I do the videos just to remind you guys where the future is moving towards to. So that way you don't lose uh, your conviction. Because I understand whenever the markets are low, you know, spirits do go down a bit. And I can see that. I can see it in um, all over YouTube, Twitter. There's not as much hype going on. But one thing you gotta, you got to understand is that Nothing goes up in a straight line. There has to be corrections along the way. And also understand, nothing goes down in a straight line as well. So, all we're, what's just happening right now is just we're moving towards a consolidation phase, or some may say bear market, bearish market, but it's only going to last like a couple months or around August. But, you know, you know don't call me on that. I want you guys to actually do your own research. Um, go back to 2013 2014 look at the pattern there because it's moving the same exact way now the 2016 or no, 2017 2018 one that one doesn't really reflect on where bitcoin is at right now so the most accurate one is 2013 2014 and for the market to just end right here and go straight towards bearish um, it just it doesn't seem right just based on what's happening in, in the geopolitical world it seems like they want to keep the inflation going but you know they gotta have all these FUD news in between about like tapering um, I'm not gonna get too much on that on this one but just letting you know we're not done yet okay um, in terms of the future yes we are going towards crypto all right, so let's get to the actual news. All right, so here we have Anchorage Digital to offer Ethereum-backed loans through FDIC-insured bank prop. So, you know, that just goes to show that, you know, there's already some regu regulations involved, guys, because these banks, they're, they are already fully regulated. So for all these crypto companies to merge with a regulated bank, that just... Goes, I mean, it proves that they're moving towards more regulation. Okay, now I want you guys to hear what Diogo Monica has to say. Let me get exciting narrative for us to continue monitoring. All right, uh, people are taking positions, uh, culprits are taking positions out of their balance sheet, not just in Bitcoin, and in fact, also in Ethereum. So they are looking at this. This is one of the big benefits that they see as taking position. So people are taking positions as well as big corporations. So if big corporations are taking positions in Bitcoin and Ethereum in their balance sheet, that just proves that, you know, we're not going down. Crypto is here to stay. And whenever there's a big dip like this, uh, there's always news of big corporations buying the dips. I mean, um, a couple of days ago, we had Michael Saylor spending at least like $400 million on Bitcoin. So, if Bitcoin, I mean, like, if crypto is going to go in a bear market, why would they be spending right now when they could buy a better dip later on, possibly um, July? So it just goes to show they're just trying to play mind games with us. And, you know, they're, they're trying to shake out the weaker hands out there, the ones that, you know, just follow the hype rather than um, studying the whole entire fourth industrial revolution and the actual cryptos themselves and what utilities they have to offer to the new economy if you guys don't understand that then you're always going to be in a state of gambling because you don't know if the price is going to go up or down unless you're some sort of trader then you know what you, you may benefit from that but in the long term the long run it's better for everyone to just understand the whole entire space Okay, now let's read this. Digital asset platform Anchorage Digital is expanding its lending service with Ethereum-backed loans through Bankprov, a traditional Massachusetts bank 
formerly known as Provident Bank. This is the first time the Crypto Custody Bank has extended Ethereum-backed loans through a traditional FDIC-insured bank. All right, so yeah, there you go. Okay, move forward. We have another news on big banks. So this is the FUD that basically caused a little bit of a pullback. We have Goldman Sachs saying that you know Asian head foot hedge funds really don't like Bitcoin. I find that this BS. Asian hedge funds may not be as bullish in Bitcoin compared to their peers in the US, according to a Goldman Sachs report issued over the weekend. China owns a good majority of the ha Bitcoin hash rate, so if they're mining a lot of Bitcoin, why would they be not liking Bitcoin? It, it makes no sense. So that's one thing you guys got to understand. China owns a good majority of the hash rate, okay? They're on Bitcoin for a reason. And when it comes to China, guys, they are way ahead when it comes to the fourth industrial revolution. All the things that we're moving towards to, China's already there. They've been there for like the past five, ten years. Now, one thing you guys got to understand is that even though like, you know, we, we funded them to make all these products so that way our consumer state of mind gets fed, um, we're also in a way giving them the power to create the things that we consume. So nothing's going to stop them from wanting to create that for themselves. And that's why China is ahead of the game because they, even though, I mean, even though we've been consuming, we have not been producing like China has. And mm -hmm. because China has been producing a lot of the items that goes to the rest of the world, They've been one of the only countries, if not the only country still, to have a positive GDP despite this whole pandemic thing. And yeah, that's one thing you guys got to keep in mind. And remember, China, Africa, all those countries, I mean, uh, continents. Not, it, China's not a continent, sorry. It, Asia's a continent. Or like uh, Australia even. All those places, they are considered the emerging market. Um, they're going to be propped up by design. So the, in terms of the race towards the fourth industrial revolution, new economy, they are going to be propped up first. And then, yeah, U.S., Canada, they kind of go down a bit. And then in the end, it's going to be like somewhat of a level playing field. But the rest of the other countries outside of the U.S. and Canada, uh, they're going to gain much better momentum. And um, that's just how it works. All right, so after that, we also have news of Paraguay may be embracing Bitcoin after El Salvador. El Salvador made some news uh, yesterday or over the weekend saying that they might, I mean, they've signed up to have um, Bitcoin as a legal tender. So they can pay, like in stores, they can start accepting Bitcoin as legal tender. And that's a good sign because... That just goes to show that, you know, mass adoption wise, people are moving towards cryptocurrency countries as well. And now Paraguay is following suit. It's not guaranteed yet, but guys, remember, narratives like this happen for a reason because they're moving towards it. They got to get the masses mind towards the idea of it first. Let that idea marinate in their heads, their minds, and then all of a sudden, when they confirm it, it won't be as big of a shock to them because they've already been uh, warmed up to it. They've been warned. And that's how these guys work. It's a slow and steady game for them. It's not just, oh, yeah, we're going to accept Bitcoin right away. No, that's too big of a shock for people. People are going to go nuts. You guys got to keep that in mind. Slow and steady game, okay? All right, moving forward, we have... Goldman Sachs, once again, is betting on DeFi infrastructure firm uh, Block Demon. Damn. All right, let's read the brief. Goldman Sachs is used, uh, was skeptical about cryptocurrency. Yeah, it's just like they've done this a couple of times. They, they've given out FUD news as well. And in the back, they were actually, you know, buying out cryptocurrency. So never follow what they say. Follow what they do. But the investment banking giant continues to fund cryptocurrency companies. 
All right, and the latest funding investment is a 28 million funding round to help block demon expand. Now, these crypto exchanges, you guys got to understand that it is the new bank. DeFi is the new banking, according to Brian Brooks. And banks make money off of fees. So whether someone is buying a cryptocurrency or exchanging it for a stable coin or maybe some other cryptocurrency, there's always a fee involved. So these guys, Goldman Sachs, a bigger bank, is positioning themselves in a place where they're always getting money no matter what. Whether they sell or buy, they get paid. And yeah, that's how the rich get richer, guys. They invest on the platform itself, not on the actual crypto as much or the asset more so the platform that houses that asset so keep that in mind well, let's see let's get to the actual indicators all right so here we have the repo and reverse repo operations i know this is the fed you guys got to follow the fed man they, they are the biggest player in this game you're gonna cryptocurrency is the most manipulated market on earth right now or one of the most manipulated market and this is one of the ways to ensure that you know i mean to keep an eye on what the fed is doing so let's see here tuesday and wednesday reverse repo so they are going to have at least 497 billion involved in this so with this money they're going to be buying treasuries mortgage-backed securities and some of that money does go to cryptocurrencies when they have news like this, expect a little bit of that to, you know, get trickled into crypto. Not all of it. So remember, that is not financial advice. Do your own research. And, um, oh yeah, so these money right here, it does not stay in there, okay? That's only in there for like a temporary basis. They're making a quick flip, trying to make like quick profits. And then they pull it out and then, you know, they, they keep rinse and repeating the same thing all over and over again. So moves like this, it's like asking for hyperinflation. Now that's going to come towards uh, probably like the second half of the year and so on. You're going to see hyperinflation like what happened in Venezuela, uh, Zimbabwe. That is coming and that is something that everyone has to pay attention to or be aware of so that way everyone is prepared and moving towards this transition towards a new economy not many will make it there will be some that you know will suffer through um, hyperinflation they may not have the necessary means to feed their family themselves uh, pay for their current luxuries right now like their house their car insurance a lot of those things are going to go away because we a good majority of us are in a state of uh, consumer state of mind we always want to consume 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 never doing anything with it producing anything out of it that's a bad thing in my in my opinion because well if you're not really producing you, you just you're just a person that keeps on taking no give the way the universe works is you know you're gonna give back what you get paying forward but you know that gets translated into many different ways as well all right so let's check crude oil price so crude oil did go up and that's a good sign for the market because now more dollars are going to get poured into the market but don't expect like a big spike up testing on uh, all-time highs and all that stuff it doesn't get reflected right away sometimes sometimes you know there's like a bit of a lag maybe weeks maybe months just understand that we're in the consolidation phase so there's that all right so yield rate is going down that is definitely a good sign for the market it's still this has been stable for the past couple months but you know I, I do expect the yield rate to start ramping up uh, maybe next month because they got to pull this money out, man. They need to build the fourth industrial revolution, the infrastructure involved behind it. And they can't do that when the money is sitting in the markets. All right. 
next indicator we have the dollar index um, getting a little bit stronger okay but the overall trend is down guys look at that peak was here oh not the peak and then it started going down this was what back in july so the moment it started going down here was probably when we started getting all that bump with our alts when the yield rate was like probably at its lowest and then it started going back up and around this time we were getting quite a lot of money of course it's due for another thing it's blah 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 but yeah it just goes to show that you know the US dollar its power is weakening all right moving to the actual crypto market um, we did have a 10% or 9% decrease in the market cap volume is quite high so it goes to show that you know there's a lot of money moving now if you take a look at stable coins like tether usdc you can see that they've been in the positive side and when they are in the positive side that means all the other assets are getting drained because people are moving their money towards the stable coins parking it there waiting for a lower dip and then moving back in that's just how the game works so that do keep that in mind oh also i know there's been a lot of fud news out there that's caused you know a big pressure on the market i want to show you guys something that you know it can get you a little something something and this has something to do with the coinbase effect here it is boom coinbase pro starting today inbound transfers for gtc mln and amp are not available in the regions where trading is supported so do look into these coins okay starting thursday or actually starting today people are going to be buying these and because you know they expect it to be in coinbase so when once thursday hits or friday people are going to start selling that's just the pattern i've been seeing now it doesn't always behave like that some of it like anchor i remember it got listed and then on friday and then during the weekend it did this little turbulence but it went up even higher to like 20 cents and it started around it got listed in coinbase around like nine cents to ten cents so do keep in mind of the coinbase effect because it happens almost every single time so if you guys want some quick gains do look into these or start looking into these and remember that is not financial advice these i'm just giving you some short-term uh price pump right here remember that's time sensitive okay gtc mln and amp and you know what that is all i have for this video um, if you guys did find this a little bit you know informative helpful towards your understanding of cryptocurrency um maybe if you learned something new please do press like share it as well and subscribe so that way you guys are always uh, up to date with my videos my point of view and yeah thank you so much for listening i wish you guys gals uh, the best day take care